These kids are helping in a big way. Now these students right here are making an impact at their school by doing something obvious just to make things normal. Guilford High School students staging a walkout Friday in response to the school board's bathroom restrictions that limit the number of students who can use the facilities to the number of stalls available. Nobody asked for this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All right. The policy at this school is actually so messed up that they got working urinals you know male urinals that's attached to the wall to keep the little boys from having to go into the stall and urinate all over the place because nobody really touching those toilets nobody trying to lift up the seat they only use it when they need to do something else so the urinals are actually closed off on the wall by policy taped up even though they're working so that people don't get offended so everybody got to use a toilet and lift it up or leave it down <sighs> boy this this is the, some of the this is some of the nonsense that's going on with uh with trying to please everybody i'm gonna rewind it so you can hear what she said though restrictions that limit the number of students who can use the facilities to the number of stalls available. Nobody asked for this. Nobody but the few parents who complained to the school board asked for this. The board voted on the measure on Monday after a proposal was brought forth that would change the district's bathroom policy, which allows students to use whichever bathroom aligns with their gender identity. The we don't blame. No, we don't blame. We don't blame, but there's no reason to have a restriction to appease everybody. Sometimes you just have to call things down the middle the way it is these students are actually fighting for the obvious to change a school policy that says you use the bathroom that's associated with your gender identity as opposed to your genetic birth the proposal would require students to use the bathroom associated with their biological sex male or female while students agreed they do not like the current bathroom restrictions we're all a high school and the fact that you see this many people out here right now ready to kind of stand against the school board just kind of signifies that some have different opinions about what should be done to address the larger issue as a female i don't i don't think that it's safe to have males in our bathroom this is crazy see we just had this problem we just had this problem the the little girl says hey you know as a girl i don't want to see boys in my bathroom obvious you know what if you want to dress up like something different than what you are still be required to use the bathroom that matches who you actually are so that there's no issues and this little girl is calling it right down the middle she says hey listen i don't want to see any boys in my bathroom I don't want to see any boys in my bathroom. If you're a boy who dressed like a girl, you still should be in the boy's bathroom. If you're a girl who dressed like a boy, you should still be in the girl's bathroom. Point well made. Let's rewind it a little bit so we don't miss what anybody has to say. Safe to have males in our bathroom. This is creating just a complex system of inequality within our LGBTQ plus students. Teachers, parents, and administrators tell News 9 they're happy students were able to come together peacefully. <laughs> I'm so proud of our students. I really am. This is what gets the attention needed to make a decision that's best for everybody. That's good. That's good. That's good. They made a decision that was best for everybody. You know, what? this is just all of these little policies, all these little changes, all it's doing is causing confusion. There shouldn't be any confusion necessary in something so obvious. And I've reached out to every board member and the ones who've responded say that they hear students' concerns and that this is an issue that will have to be brought up again. The next board meeting is scheduled for February 20th. So shout out to those kids. They actually are definitely trying to make some positive changes in their area. This right here, these stalls being closed off, pure nonsense. Get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on these kids actually taking a stand for something so that they don't have to ask so many questions about which bathroom should I use get in the comments let me know your thoughts and opinions 
we will be having more content. Make sure that you drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and we will catch you on the next one.